Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are playing around with the eyeshadow palette from Kama Cosmetics. I've picked up their loose pigments and glitters in the past, but I've never seen an eyeshadow palette released on their site. When I saw it peaked on Instagram, I knew I needed to pick it up, swatch it, try it out, see what all the shades we're giving. We also used the new Cheek Trio Berry Pop from Natasha Denona. It showed up on my doorstep along with the Lip Trio. Lip Kit? The Lip Kit. But you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this look using the new Kama Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and the Berry Pop Cheek Trio and Lip Kit from Natasha Denona, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited for this because Kama Cosmetics, who I've talked about a lot on my channel, I do have an affiliate code with them. It's Ashley Lorraine or also in the drop down box, but I love their loose pigments, chromes, glitters. I have quite a few and they're usually individuals like this, but they released an eyeshadow palette. It's called Skulls and Roses. I'm so excited. It is a metallic multi-chroom eyeshadow palette. And when you look at this color story, it is absolutely gorgeous. We are going to swatch it. I'm really excited for that. I've seen some of the swatches on Instagram, but of course, swatching them in person is just on another level sometimes. And I have not been disappointed with anything I've used from them in the past to the point that I've accidentally repurchased the same scene twice which has ended up in a giveaway. But this palette did actually sell out immediately and they've actually said that they're looking at doing a restock of it. So if you see it come back in and you wanna purchase it, I'll link them down below so you can find them easily. Even if you're interested in their loose pigments and eyeshadows and I even have one of their, what is it? Their glazed glosses. I'm really excited for this. So we're gonna go ahead, we're going to swatch the palette. We're gonna see what the shades are all about. Play around with it. Look at this gloss. I do have another release that just came in the mail today and I wasn't expecting it to arrive, but I really wanna play with it. And it's from Natasha Denona. And she just released a new cheek palette with a lip kit. So we're gonna play around with those things. Let me go ahead and swatch this, see what the shades are all about and uh, what direction I wanna do my eye look. Okay, you guys, I am not disappointed by these swatches. In this palette of 16, there's an even number of shimmers, multi-chromes, duochromes, and mattes. I love that there's eight different mattes, eight different chromes, whatever you wanna call them, they are just so beautiful and yummy. Looking at these shades, I don't know what I wanna do. There's so many that I'm like, ooh, I wanna use that one, but I also know I need to pace myself. And I have, all the time in the world to play with this again. Now looking at some of these matte shades, I am absolutely in love with the shade Ravish in Allure, which are the deep red and cranberry shades in here, as well as Enamor, which is kind of like that purpley matte. I do love that there's a black shade in here called Raven. And you have some of the brown shades in case you want more of a neutral leaning deep uh, eye look. Now, as far as the chromes, <laughs> I love the shade Sorcery. It is that yummy chromatic cranberry. And I really want to play with that, but I also really love the shade Trance. I feel like Sorcery right here and then Trance on the inner corner area would be absolutely stunning. And I kind of think that's what I want to do today. But then also Chroma, which is in that second row first shade, that one is more like glittery than chrome flakes. And then Charm is that beautiful, like kind of a unicorn purple to green kind of look. It Maybe you see it differently than I do, but that's how I would compare it. Skulls is really interesting. It looks like it's a holographic, deep, like grayish, blue leaning black shade. <laughs> it's so weird. Swatched, it has so many different shades going on that it is absolutely stunning and then dazzle on camera it looked like it was a more silver but 
to me it looks more champagne on my arm and even in the palette and then enchantment is a luscious light purple so i think i have a way forward i think i want to do kind of like the burgundy tones with sorcery and trance so let me go ahead prime my eyes and we will play around with this palette i am so excited okay you guys the eyes are primed with p louise base it is my go-to and i just I feel like if i'm gonna use a new eyeshadow palette just stick with what you know so i'm also grabbing my brushes so i can try it dry without having to like apply it with my finger and see what was it new year's eve i used camo loose was it loose glitter and radiance and that one went on beautifully with just a dry brush i'm gonna go in as lightly as possible into savage and i'm gonna put that into the crease just like a, a light buffer and i went in gently because these shades are pigmented but i just want something in the crease to just kind of keep the darker shades brighter shades a little bit where they're supposed to be and i don't want them to like stick up in the crease where i don't want them shade to start with okay now i'm going to go into the shade ravish and i'm going to put that just in the crease in the outer v i'm going to go in ever so slightly into any of these matte shades because the payoff is real and that was just one dip i'm gonna place it before i start blending it out I'm hoping you guys can't hear it but my neighbor is next door it's actually not that cold out right now it's 55 degrees they're on their back porch uh, earlier they were playing poker and i don't know if there's a game on or anything but they have a bunch of friends over and they're just having a good time i was like they're kind of loud but at the same time it's like it's the afternoon i'm not gonna go and tell them to turn their music down because i decided to film later in the e like the afternoon but i got up this morning and i was doing all of my i was putting all my paperwork together for my taxes which who wants to adult on the weekend? Not me. Um, but I was doing work stuff and getting all the important things taken care of so I don't have to worry about it in the next week or so. But me waiting to film is not on them to keep it down. And they're usually pretty quiet like during the week. It's on the weekends and the evenings that if I'm in my beauty room, I hear them. Uh, otherwise, like if we're in the living room or you, yeah, usually we don't hear them, so I'm not gonna go and tell them and be like, can you guys please keep it down? I know it's the afternoon. You guys are just playing music on your back porch. It is what it is. But I'm really hoping you guys can't hear them. Especially cause like the microphone for the camera is on the other side of the room. I think, I feel like I can hear them more because I'm close to the window. But Luke and I are gonna go over to his sister and brother-in-law's house in a little while but i also need to make dinner i put some stuff together to well the chicken is marinating so i can do mediterranean bowls for like late lunch early dinner because i just kind of snacked earlier and by snacked i had reese's puffs cereal <laughs> do you ever have that like moment where you're just kind of like i want something from my childhood but i haven't craved it ever or recently or whatever and then all of a sudden you're like "Ooh, i want this cereal i get that way once in a while i've even gotten that way with like spaghettios and meatballs don't know why and i actually had a coworker that i was like are you really eating that like are you a toddler and i was like toddlers don't eat this stuff kids do but sometimes I want my nostalgic like kid meal. Are they completely healthy? No, <laughs> but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna go into the shade. All right, I'm gonna go into the shade Allure. This one I'm gonna pick up on my compacted smudge brush, place it and then blend it out. But I had that like craving about like a couple weeks ago. I just really, really, really wanted Reese's Puffs cereal. So I was, I was like, oh, I want something to snack on today. And I saw that I still had them in there. I was like, oh, I should probably eat this up. But I keep them in the like airtight containers and they last so much longer. Um, Cause 
I'll get a craving and then I won't eat it for another week or two. And I'm like, cereal, cereal gets stale. No amount of milk sometimes will like revive it enough to eat it. But it was actually pretty fresh today. And I was like, okay, I need to like finish this off. You guys, I am really liking this burgundy shade. But I also knew that I didn't want to like have a huge lunch. So I just grabbed it. I've been snacking this morning. I'm really loving this. And I don't know if I want to just leave it the burgundy and red. Or do I want to add the black in just to like smoke out the edge? I tend to do that a lot. I know I do. But I'm really liking this burgundy. Okay, I am gonna go into the shade Raven just on my Sigma pencil brush. This is the E30. I'm just gonna, right here on the outer edge. that what do you guys think just a little bit of shading now into the shade sorcery and they're so creamy like I barely swatched or I barely went into it I'm gonna go into the shade Trance. This one I'm gonna pick up on my dry brush so I can get a more precise lay down in the corner. It's, it's doing, it's doing it. But I think I just gotta pick it up on the finger. Mm, it gives a really pretty shift on top of sorcery. Okay, let me go do this eye, some base products, and I will be back. And y'all, I'm in love with this palette. Okay, you guys, if you wanna know what I have on my face besides the eyeshadow palette and the stuff I'm about to talk about, it is all listed down below with clickable links so you can easily go and find those items. Now, we need to finish off this under eye. And I think I don't wanna do the red and cranberry. I kinda wanna use the purpley shade. So I'm gonna go into the shade Enamor. This plummy purple is so beautiful and seductive and I kind of feel like it's going to lean into the black smokiness that I put on the outer edge of the cranberry. So we're going to try and we're going to see and it may or may not work but we're going to try. So I just placed it where I wanted it predominantly and then I used what was left on the brush to just kind of slowly drag it over just because I don't want it to look like raccoon eyes. I am gonna take my compacted smudge brush and go into the shade Allure just ever so slightly in the upper, like outer corner area. Just a smidge. No extra product on the fluffy crease brush. I'm just gonna go on the outer edge and just kind of like blend that out a little bit so it feathers the edges a little bit more. And then into Raven, ever so slightly 
with the pencil brush, just right here. I'm really liking that but we do still need to use something in the inner corner and I could I could use a highlighter but I don't want to I'm gonna use the shade charm that's it that's the shade I'm gonna use uh, there's no changing it mmm it's not really wanting to because it's, it's kind of like a flaky chrome It's kind of going. Let's see. I think we need a setting spray. We're going to spritz a dry brush. It's really not wanting. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know where my silicone brushes are. Okay, it took a little finessing. I feel like if I was able to use my finger and place it in there, it would have been so much easier. But my finger doesn't fit in that little corner of my eye. Not as precisely as I would like it to. It just has like that really pretty like limey purple. It's really pretty. There is a little bit of fallout. Um, let me get a little brush. To, and it just brushes away. All right, I need to do, ooh, we still got cheeks. I almost forgot. I have new Natasha Denona cheek palette. Okay, I literally just saw this pop up on Instagram, but it was sneaked or shown the same day that I got a email saying, hey, you're able to order early. If you have an account with Natasha Denona and sign up for like rewards, she'll tell you like two, a day or two ahead of the like original, like actual release. So I was able to order it and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And it was delivered so quickly without doing express shipping. So this is the Berry Pop Cheek Trio Blush and Highlighter Palette. I, I, I'm not a fan of like the metallic it shows all the fingerprints, but I love her makeup. Like I said, there is an affiliate code. I do make a commission off of it, but you guys do get a discount. So if you're interested in that, definitely it's in the drop down box. It should also be on the screen. Her eyeshadow palettes, her cheek palettes are some of my favorites. Now, when I was looking at the video for this, it looks like you're doing a similar technique to the Patrick Ta where you do the powder, then the cream. So in here you have the powder, you have a cream, and then you have the highlighter. I am so excited for this, you guys. Especially because I've been getting into more bright cheek colors. So excited. All right, so popping into the powder blush first, and I may have gone in heavy handed. Oh, look how beautiful that is. I feel like this shade matches my eyes. There, there is a reason I chose this palette to go with Kema's eyeshadow palette. That is very like in your face, like bright and like flushed. If you like a very intense blush, I feel like it'd be buildable. I definitely went in a little heavy handed, but I think it is a beautiful shade. Also, if you want to tone that down a little bit, just take your dampened sponge and you can press it in and it should tone it down a little bit or take your powder and it will just mute your color a little bit. So this also had like my contour and powder on it. So maybe you went too far forward, which is kind of what I feel like I did. I'm just using what's left of my concealer to just push it back out a little bit. It is very pink. <laughs> 
very flushed pop. And now we're gonna go into the tinted glow cream. I just tap tapped a little bit. It does give like a like nice glowy effect. I think I went in a little too heavy handed. It's fine, it's fine. Definitely not something I could wear to work because it is bright. I will play around with this some more because I want to see what it would look like a little less. <laughs> but I like it. it. It's not for everyone, I'll tell you that much. All right, I do need to do my brow bone. So I'm gonna go into the powder highlighter for my brow bone. Oh, that is so beaming and beautiful. Are you guys into the like intense blush look right now or are you just liking more subdued? Okay, let me go do brows, liner, mascara. I'll be back for lips because I still have the liner and lipstick and then Kama has that beautiful glitzy gloss. So we'll, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, you guys, <laughs> we have brows and liner done and mascara. Now we need to do lips. So this is the Berry Pop Lip Crayon. Let's go ahead and swatch it in B-roll. That's that. And then the lipstick. Super cute. Ooh, really pretty. So I think that's like a whole vibe. And I don't usually do like a dark bold eye with a bold lip. But then I also have the Glazed Gloss from Kama in Glazed Rose. Mm. Go ahead and swatch. Oh, look at that. That is so glittery and glossy. Ooh. I don't know if gloss is the vibe today. We're gonna try it out probably because it's pretty. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, line the lips. It is really creamy. <laughs> I do like her lip liners. I always have the hardest time like with my lips. <sighs> Liner's not my favorite. Okay, now the lipstick. That's a really pretty shade. It is very creamy and juicy. I really, I really like this. has been back for a little bit. Let me go fix the hair before I do the gloss. Okay, you guys, the other thing with the blush being so bright, I did wear my hair down. Like, so it's gonna cover some of that. It is what it is. Let me know your thoughts. Is it too bright? D did I go in too heavy handed? What is your opinion? Now, I wanna try this so bad and see just how it looks on this beautiful berry lip. And I haven't worn a berry in a long time and I really like this. It's like perfect for spring, definitely just in time for Valentine's Day. I'm excited for this. I'm probably gonna wear this quite a bit this spring because I haven't done, I either find berries that are like too pink 
and I'm not looking for like Barbie pink or just it, it's not the it's not the right combination of pink and red for me. I really like this. Like, I really, really like this. It's a lot of red though today with the eyes, the cheeks, the lip. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> All right, now the lip gloss. Oh, look at that. It is very beautiful. I really, I like this. I will say though, when I rub my lips together, because of how creamy the lipstick is, it kinda like took it over again when I reapplied the glitter and also put it on the top lip. It kinda like gave it the glitter back. It is gorgeous, it's very juicy and glossy. The lipstick itself is very glossy. I think this lip gloss by itself or on top of like a liquid lipstick would probably be my preference for this. It's just so creamy that, and the lip liner is not gonna budge. When I tried to wipe it off my hand, like I was really going in with a makeup wipe. The lip liner is gonna hold everything in place. However, I feel like a matte lip or a liquid lipstick on top, like this on top of it, would be perfect because the liquid lipstick is gonna stay where it's at and then the glitter is just gonna be able to be like the front runner, the showstopper. I really like it though. The lips look very juicy and stunning and so glitzy. It is a vibe, it really is a vibe. But the lipstick on its own was also very gorgeous and with just a regular lip gloss would be beautiful because I feel like when I put, when I put my lips together, the glitter kind of like got sucked into the creaminess of the berry shade. It's there now, but I had to reapply it. That's just what I noticed. I think it would be better performed on a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick that's not going to budge. That's just that, my thoughts for you guys. This is the final look. I really have some thoughts though. The Skulls and Roses palette from Kama Cosmetics. If you're able to go onto their website and put your email in to be notified when they restock this palette, absolutely go do that. I know that they just did a giveaway on their Instagram page and I sent it to a bunch of my friends that were like, oh, I didn't get a chance to buy it. I was like, well, maybe you can Maybe you can win it. This palette though is so beautiful. I love this color story. Very dark, bold, beautiful. I do like how my eyes turned out with the red and the cranberry and I used the brown just to kind of give a buffer so it didn't like get too blown out. The black shade Raven just giving a little bit of smokiness and definition right here in the crease. Beautiful. I feel like I'm gonna reach for this palette quite a bit this year. And the chromes in here, the shades, I'm so excited to play around with Charm, which I didn't, like, it just, it didn't really do what I wanted to because of the brush I was using. But I feel like if I used my finger to apply it to the eye, which sometimes, a lot of times, chromes and shimmers are best applied with your finger. Not a brush, even sometimes a silicone applicator, which I still can't find those brushes. So if you're looking for a very beautiful chrome, and matte palette and you don't want all the single individuals like i said they have quite a few and this is only a couple that i have but they come in the little vials of them not everyone wants to take up that much space i prefer palettes because i can just put them in my bookshelf and they're tucked away they're also a little bit easier to travel with you guys i can't say it enough if you're interested in this definitely check their site and see when they're possibly re restocking it i know that they sold out as soon as it was posted i want to say this is the first palette that kama has actually put out because most of their stuff is individuals now the gloss i just talked about it also one of their newer releases was the gloss. Now, from Natasha Denona, the Berry Pop Cheek Trio. I really like this. I do need to see if I can like 
tone it down a little bit. I feel like I went in a little heavy handed, but it could also just be, it's a lot of red. It's a lot of like berries going on today. Um, maybe if I had done like a neutral brown eye and then the cheek, it is what it is. I think the shade is beautiful. I just don't know if I went in too heavy for it. Let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to know what you guys think. The highlighter is quite stunning and I love the cheek glaze. Mm. It just, you can have that matte shade or you can make it a little bit more shiny. I really like it. And then the lip. I love her lipsticks, her lip liners. So creamy, so easy to use. And I have the worst time lining my lips. I'm just not a fan, but this is super creamy and easy to apply. And then the lipstick, very creamy and just feels great on the lips. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. If you like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in the next one.